Practice scripts. It's one of my most frequently asked questions. Where can I get voiceover practice scripts? The shorter, short answer to that is don't. Don't get practice scripts. And the longer answer coming up in just a couple of moments. Uh, first of all, good morning. Welcome to the daily voiceover huddle, the live stream. I'm Bill DeWeese. Uh, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach, demo producer. Uh, we do this every weekday morning. We get together for a few minutes just to share a tip, trick, strategy, something to help you move forward with your voiceover career, teach you how to make more money in your voiceover career. Most of you, uh, and I know this from experience with working with thousands of people, uh, most people I talk to want to make this a full-time gig. So whether you need a good side hustle or you want to turn it into a full-time career, that's what this channel is about. That's what my training is about. That's why I'm here this morning. Again, I'm so glad that you're here. Well, tragedy, tragedy struck the Dewey household this morning as I went to make, make my favorite morning beverage, Michigan Cherry Coffee, from none other than Meyer Grocery Store. And we only had a few beans left in the grinder. So I ground up what we had. It was only enough for maybe maybe a half pot. So here's what I did. We had some leftover hazelnut coffee. I mixed it with it. And you know what? I've created a new coffee fusion <laughs> that I think, I think Meyer should check into. It's pretty darn good. At least it's enough to get me by, you know, through today. Also, and to say a special thanks to all of you who attended the live training event last night. Last night was a training event on how to create your very own DIY demos. As you may be aware, I limit class size to 100 to make sure that we uh, are able to um, adequately interact with and, and answer questions. I always leave time at the end of the sessions for, for you know, for Q&A. And right before going live last night at 7 Central, we were maybe three or four shy. So whether we hit 100 last night, I'm not sure, but we were pretty darn close. If you missed last night or if you came a little bit too late and we'd hit 100 and you couldn't get in, no worries because the uh, the event, uh, the training was recorded and that recording is available through this Friday night. And I've put the link below in the description. We had a, it was a great evening. A lot of really useful, good information to teach you how to supplement your current videos or if you're just getting started, do it doing it on a shoestring so it doesn't cost you anything and you can begin to generate um, revenue, get some traction so that you can then fund the upward mobility of your career as you move into, you know, more expensive gear and more expensive demos and all of that kind of fun stuff. So let's talk about practice scripts, shall we? There's hardly a day that goes by that somebody's not asking me, where do I find practice scripts? My recommendation is this, do not find and use practice scripts. Why do I say that? Well, <clears throat> I've been around long enough to know that practice scripts, at least the practice scripts that I've heard, and I can tell a practice script a mile away within three to five seconds. I know whether it was written by a legitimate copywriter or whether somebody put together something to practice. It's kind of like counterfeit money, you know? Um, sometimes you, it just, something's off. Sometimes you, you may not know why, but something just doesn't smell quite right, doesn't feel quite right. It's the same thing with professionally written copy. I started my career as a commercial copywriter, and that's why this topic is near and dear to my heart, because I'm somebody who, st who studied, who studied it and became, in all humility, a pretty good commercial copywriter. That skill has helped, has helped me in every area of business throughout my life. I couldn't even, I could, you know, we could talk for hours about how that skill has really helped propel me through whatever it is that I've done throughout my life. <clears throat> the problem with practicing scripts that aren't professionally written is it's twofold. Number one, oftentimes people can, can sense that it doesn't feel legitimate. There, like I said, there, there is an art and a science. There's a psychology to writing commercial copy. And when it's not written properly, because we're so, we're so inundated with it, we hear it on radio and TV, online, you know, we're, we're hearing properly and professionally written copy all day long. When somebody writes something that, and they're not, they really aren't quite sure what they're, what they're doing, you can hear it, you can sense it almost immediately. So it diminishes your credibility in the work that you're doing, number one. Number two is you need to learn to work with professionally written copy because, as I said, it's written in a very specific way with specific objectives and becoming familiar with how it's written and knowing how to read that 
in a way that's compelling to the person that's listening, that's, that's part of learning to become a really good voiceover talent. And that's why I tell people this. Don't, if it's labeled as a practice script, and I know there are websites out there that have them, don't use them. So then, Bill, where does that leave me? Where do I find professionally written scripts? They are everywhere. They're on TV. They are most definitely on YouTube. iSpot.tv. Transcribe. You know, what, what you're creating, you're not creating a work for sale. So you're not doing anything illegal. What you're doing is you're getting samples of something to, for demonstration purposes. So find a commercial or some commercials or a narration, a documentary, whatever, whatever type of demo or demos you're working on. Find it on YouTube, transcribe a few lines of it, and use that for your demo or for practice. Because you'll be working with, again, legitimate scripts that make you sound more legitimate. Plus, it helps in your practice and your growth because you learn to work and to read the way scripts are actually written in the real, real world, the way you will be and the types of scripts that you will be working with as you begin to move up the rungs of the, voice, the proverbial voiceover ladder. So that's why I say don't use voiceover practice scripts. Well, let's see here. For some reason, why is this? I am not seeing the live chat this morning. This is weird. Why am I not seeing the live chat? It's not, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, I had to, uh, I'm still, you know, how many years have I been doing this now? I'm st still learning all the right buttons to press. My gosh. All right, let's do a little roll call. Who do we have on today? Andrew, Des Moines, Doug in North Carolina, Philip in Tokyo. Uh, we've got Nazradeen. Good morning. Maria, hello to you in Texas. We've got, uh, let's see, Super Bob in Nashville. What's up, Super Bob? Tim in Salt Lake. Bob in Reedsville, North Carolina. Anthony in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Dwight in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Jack, how are you doing? Greg in Nashville, North Carolina. Bernard in Atlanta. Miriam in New Jersey. Bill in Boise, Idaho. Guy, how's it going in St. Louis? Janet in Florida. Janet says, great class last night. Janet, thanks. Thanks for being there. Appreciate that. Sandra, happy Wednesday to you in Westerville, Ohio. Wayne in Port Orchard, Washington. Kathleen in Evans, or Evanston, Wyoming. Matt, New Jersey. John in Rhinebeck, New York. Mark, what's going on in Estes Park, Colorado? Thanks again for the kind comments about the class last night. I appreciate that. I'm so glad you could be there, Mark. Uh, Gary, thank you for the kind words about the class last night. Thanks so much. Merrill, good morning to you in New Jersey. Always great to start my day in the voiceover huddle. Thank you, Merrill. Mike, what's going on? I absolutely love the DIY demo webinar last night. I recommend it to anyone starting out. Mike, thank you. And again, in case you missed it earlier, uh, it was recorded. There's a link in the description below if you're interested. That will be available through Friday night, and then we take it down. And then it's and then we, we tuck it away. It's retired, at least for the time being. <clears throat> Excuse me, JJ. Let's see, in South Jersey, great training last night. Thank you. Hey, Mark, was honored and excited for the opportunity to read a script. Mark, great job last night. Yeah, we put, we had Mark, and then we had, um, was it Claire? I might not be around the first name, uh, in the UK. And uh, they both read for us last night. Uh, we were, part of the, the uh, session was demonstrating how to reflect your point of view, your personality, your attitude, your emotion within a script. And so that's part of making a great demo. Bruce, he says, wow, Bill, you look nice, nice and tan. <laughs> this is what seven miles on the trail every day will get you. Now, I say every day. I haven't been able to get out every day. Uh, I was out yesterday and the day before. I won't be able to get out. I've got a guest in town today and tomorrow, so I won't be able to leave. But it feels, you know what? I miss my vitamin D when I'm not out there. I, I'm the kind of guy... You know, when I heard it was going to be 99 degrees tomorrow here in the Chicago area, I got excited. I love it. I love sunshine. I love the heat. I can even tolerate the humidity. What I can't handle is cold. Unfortunately, my wife, Vicki, she's on the opposite side of that scale. She, she loves snow. She loves ice. And so that's, you know, it's one of a number of reasons the Midwest has become a good, you know, has been our home for so many years because you get all four seasons here. Uh, thanks again, Bruce. Hey, Barb, what's up in Ann Arbor? Tim and Altoona, John and Memphis. 
JR, what's going on in Austin? Sandra, good morning from Dallas, Fort Worth. Thank you for the kind words about the webinar last night. By the way, this is just a side note. It, it, it cracks me up. You know, we have this, this trail. This, I live about a half mile from a trail, so I just walk from my house and hit the trail. It's, a, it's 10 and a half miles long. It's gorgeous. It goes through. It runs along a river, through some woods. It goes through a state park, and then out the other end through some more woods. It goes through several camping areas. It's just a wonderful trail. But it cracks me up how many people I know when I'm out there. Uh, last night I ran into a guy, an old friend I haven't seen in years last night, but you know, being, being back in the hood, it's, <laughs> I'm always in the strangest places. I'm just, I like, I know people everywhere. It's crazy, but cool. Very cool. I love it. Wally, great day to you in Annapolis. Uh, we've got Lisa in Atlanta. Joe Lee, how are you doing in Minnesota? Guy. Um, can you use an actual commercial copy and change the identity details? Sure. If you want to, you can do that. That's fine. You don't have to, but you certainly can. Uh, let's see here. We've got, yeah. What about writing your own scripts? This goes back to the idea of having professionally written copy. If you are a professional copywriter, you're professionally trained and have experience, then I would say, knock yourself out. If not, why? Why reinvent the wheel? Just use something that's already professional to begin with, would be my recommendation. Steve, in Biloxi, how are you doing? Um, Subham, hello. Heather, good morning. Tess, what's going on in Decula, Georgia? We've got Fawn in Florida, Heather in Chattanooga. Uh, let's see here. Ken in Arkansas, Brian in, in Waxhaw, North Carolina. Uh, Bill was in your class last night, but I didn't see the links to the pre-recorded videos. Okay, here's the deal. So there was the class last night, but in addition to the class, when you get the class, there's two bonus videos that I created. One is where um, I take I take like 10 student-produced DIY demos, and I critique them so that you can get some positive feedback, see me actually going through other people's demos and giving feedback on how to make them better. <clears throat> Excuse me, the other video is an is essentially an over-the-shoulder look at me producing one. So I take you, I share my desktop, and I go through the whole process from getting the script to recording to edi editing, putting it all together. I made a video of me creating a DIY demo from scratch, unedited. I just sat down, turned on the camera, and went from scratch. And so uh, the way you access that, back to your question, is when you got the class, you were given a link to the learning portal with your uh, user ID and password. When you log into that, you will see the recording of last night's class along with the two bonus videos. So that's, and those of you who get the, you know, if you're getting uh, the, the training afterwards, you'll get access to those bonus. Same, you'll get all the same stuff that everybody did last night. Um, Rusty in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Bruce, what's going on? Some intermittent flickering from your camera today. You know what? I noticed that too. I don't know. It's, it's since I, and I hate to keep complaining about this computer, but since I got this new MacBook, um, now I love Macs, by the way. So, but ever since I've got this, I've had issues in getting everything to work right. It's a MacBook Air. It's the new M2. So it's got plenty of horsepower and everything that I need. Uh, but I have to use a docking station because it only has two USB-C inputs. So, to use an external monitor, keyboard, you know, my audio interface, all that stuff, you know, it goes through that. And I'm using a uh, Logitech Brio 4K camera, which I've been using for a few years. So I know all that this stuff works, but through this rig, this setup, I get some weird stuff going on. And it's like, as soon as I fix one thing, it's like you put a finger in the, in the hole, the dike of the dam, another hole opens up and something else happens. So one of these days, hopefully I'll have everything working properly. It's a work in process. Uh, Rusty, we've got Rusty in the UP. Oh, wait, I already mentioned you, Rusty, but a double, a double good morning to you. Theo, good morning from downtown Chicago. High atop the, whoa, Nelly, it's hot building right next to Lake Michigan. <laughs> I get it. Love it. Andrew, 107 degrees here in Des Moines. Whoa, is that... Is that with uh, the, like the heat index or is it like a legit 107 in Des Moines? 
Man, that'll like that'll kill your corn out there, right? Claire, I love the DIY demo webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Hey, uh, Greg in Winnipeg. I'm late, but I'm here. David in Gardner, Kansas bids adieu. Have a wonderful day. You as well, David. Stephen in humid Atlanta. Man, I tell you, Atlanta, I can't even imagine Atlanta uh, in August. I mean, I've been to Atlanta lots of times. My sister used to live there. But man, I would avoid that place like crazy, I think. As much as I love the heat and the humidity, I don't think I could take like extended periods of it, like through late August into early September. That might be it. That's where I might just cry uncle. <laughs> yeah, uh, the reason that I was just uh, commended on pronouncing Decula, Georgia correctly, it only took me about a month to figure that out. I mean, I, I was t r corrected every day until I finally got it right, and I haven't forgotten. All right, here's someone with just just got their fourth audiobook offer in the first four weeks. That's that's amazing. Congrats to you on that. Alex, uh, looks like I caught you right at the end. Good morning from Orange County, California. Mike in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, Eric in Killeen, Texas. And Guy in St. Louis. Man, I think we hit everybody. I just so, I, you know, appreciate you guys. I'm so glad you're here. And so the little shout out, out at the end is just my little way of saying thanks. It really means a lot. I'm glad you're here. Uh, thanks for being in the class for those of you. So many of you were. And those of you who miss it, you can still get it. Just, again, check out the link below. Have a great day. Stay cool if you can. We'll talk to you soon.